Hey guys, I am Viknesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone are doing good. In today's video, we are going to see the practical implementation of uh, Cloud Memory Store. So in previous video, we understood what is Cloud Memory Store, where it is used and how to create and read this instance in Cloud Memory Store in Google Cloud Platform. Continuity with that session, we will create, we will, uh, create one use case. I have taken one use case and we will be implementing that using different GCP services like Cloud Memory Store, Compute Engine and VPC Router Firewall. So this use case which I am going to use for this particular demo is based on we will be creating one um, web app and uh, we will just post one, uh, we will create one user, user credentials login credentials like username and password and we will post message and we will store that message as part of cat's memory and later we will see how to export that to cloud storage bucket and import the same to cloud storage uh, import the same to cloud memory store as well so i hope uh, the objective of this video is very is clear and without any further delay let's get started so first i will go through some uh, theoretical part of what we are going to do so the first and foremost important thing is to enable the API for Cloud Memory Store. In, since we are using this Redis instance, I have already enabled it. Make sure you have already you also enabled it. So the next the services used are Memory Store, Redis instance, and Compute Engine. We will create one default Compute Engine, not a big fancy one like default configurations, all those things, and we will select Ubuntu 20.0 version boot image size and under network tag we will add a firewall rule which we will be creating using vpc network and we will get uh, we will give one network name as well so the next thing is vpc network i'll show this in uh, while you are implementing it practically next once after this is done we will ssh into that virtual machine and we will give all these com com commands to update and upgrade on version of python pip and uh, we will be using we will create one virtual environment python 3 virtual environment and we will activate that virtual environment and then we will use this uh, repo for Redis py we are using python package so i'll be using this repo for our practical implementation as well so we will i'll show all these things inside uh, when i create everything in a uh, practical ways so without any further delay we will now jump into our google cloud platform so this is my Google Cloud Platform. I have already created that Redis instance. If you don't know, please take a look at the previous videos. I will give the link of previous video in the in the description, description box. Uh, take a look at it. So now we will go into this um, uh, Google Cloud Console and inside this search, search type compute and go into this compute engine. So First, we will create one compute engine instance. I'll show you it's a very easy, easy and straightforward. Plus create instance. Make sure this instance is in US central one. So we have to create the same compute engine instance in US central one region. So instance ID will be Redis app and label is, this is not required just for my identify process. I'm adding it. So save it and look a region US central one and zone US central one here. Make sure US central one here and then in uh, machine type go to this series and search one take the basic one and let everything this be the same. And inside this boot disk change into uh, from Debian change into Ubuntu. So Ubuntu and the version let it be. 20.0.4 and balance this side and size let it be 10 GB itself and add firewall list everything so under networking add one tag this red base so we will create this network tag using firewall rule and that's it let rest everything let it be same just click on that create instance and go to this firewall rule so inside this VPC network go to this firewall rule uh, create firewall rule and name let it be the same wow. red this firewall 
and uh, description let it be net default network ingress let everything let it be in target tag we will give 0.0.0, .0. So um, TCP 5000. So target tag is redvis whatever we added in the network right. So let it be the same here. We will cross check that once inside this basic configuration we will see. So network is redvis so same I have added here and source IP range will be 0.0.0.0 slash 0 and um, since we are using the python version specify tcp and port number let it be 5000 and click on create so it will take some time to create meanwhile we can see what is redvis id which we created in the previous session so tire is basic row read replicas since it is a basic we it doesn't have any read replicas location central 1a primary location capacity 1 gb and RDB snapshot is off and maximum network throughput is 500 MBBS version is 4.0 MBS preferred window is all those things and this is the uh, internal IP we will be configuring this in our code python code to access this memory store instance and if you wanted to import and export we can always do that and I will show you once after creating this VP uh, this code I will show you how to export and import to cloud storage bucket. Yeah, Redbase app firewall is, has been created and now um, go to this compute engine and SSH into the terminal. So for doing SSH just meanwhile I will copy all this command and place it in notepad so that it is easy for me to copy and execute it. Yeah, go into this SSH terminal. Before that I will go into this ssh terminal and let it load meanwhile you can come here and the service is used copy the sudo apt update so it is just to update our virtual machine update and upgrade all our virtual machine connections up to the date so it is taking some time to load we have to wait yeah now sudo apt update let it update and sudo apt upgrade we have to update and update all the packages which is present inside this uh, ubuntu machine so next is sudo apt upgrade so it will take some time and next we have to check for python version so what will be the python version which we are using in this uh, for this demo we have to see that as well so this will take some time to uh, upgrade all the packages we will give the time yeah. so it is it will take some time like 30 40 seconds it will take so we have to wait apart from that we don't have any other option left yeah it is almost done it is almost done It is not done, it is taking some time. Yeah, it is done. So it took around 60, 60 seconds, I guess. The Python version is 3.8 on 10. And now we have to install uh, pip. So to install pip, to go through this and sudo app install iPhone Y Python 3 pip. So it will, it will also take some time to install pip and then next thing is install additional tools you can skip this line uh, it doesn't make any impact as well so if you want you can do it or else you can skip this line and then we will go install virtual environment to install virtual environment we have to follow this command and then we will create a virtual environment then activate it so till this we are inside our uh, um, upgrading and updating our system package itself installing some packages and uh, creating virtual environment all those things 
yeah, it took and next now we will see install virtual environment python 3 virtual environment so we are going to install that so after that if we will we'll use this command to create a virtual environment my virtual environment name is my underscore environment so this will be my uh, virtual environment name to activate it you should use this command source acti and my environment has been activated so we are into our virtual environment virtual environment name is my environment now we will clone this github repo which we took for which uh, which have the code so if you don't know python don't need to worry about it like everything is already done we are just going to ex uh, extract or we are just going to clone it and we will be modifying code according to our requirement that's it so this is the repo and uh, if you see ls you can find that it is uh, iphone 5 so we have to go into this package and just so go into this request and see what is the folder so we'll be using pip requirements dot requirements dot txt requirements underscore so first we have to run pip uh, install come back and pip install iphone r requirements dot txt so this will take again some time yeah there is some error so to overcome this error i have already given what to do so you have to come here copy this wheel copy this command pip install upgrade pip wheel you have to execute it yeah once this is done just re-execute the same command you will this yeah now it i've installed all the packages flask jing jing ja to markup safe where you say click it's dangerous redis all those has been installed and now we have to go into this settings.py page so we have to go into this settings.py so where is it like inside this package we have to go into this settings vim settings yeah here instead of this db host replace this db host with our uh, uh, host name our host name will be I told you how to go. Yeah, this will be our internal IP address. Copy it here. Replace that local host with uh, with our host. Um, yeah. 10 dot on and remove that port number 6379 if you can see db port has already 6379 so what was uh, i don't know what was the final number 149107 so if you see what whether that got updated you can just use cat and you can see 10 dot 110 10.1.0.149.107 now next what should you do is get the IP address from the memory and we have done that under it is py folder run server.py so come out of it and give ls vim run server.py so inside here we have to update our host id so host equal to this is taking some time but again yeah so this is done and now get the IP address this is done and most under it is we execute the app python run server dot py python run server dot py yeah so we have to see whether that application is present on server Can't run server, so we have to cross it. And run. Okay, there are it, it got completely messed up, so we have to again execute it. Vim server dot 
it got completely messed up if you can see run uh, sorry for it post equal to now you can save it this is why you have to always cross check whether you have executed correctly or not so yeah now it is done python run server.py yeah this is how you have to copy this ip <coughs> uh, open any uh, op like i'll be op i'll open that incognito mode now and uh, http hyphen hyphen go to virtual compute engine instance and you can copy this external ip and paste it here and then followed by the port number 5000 so this is our redis app now we have to sign up sign up using cloud ai analytics password let it be one two three four five and i signed up so i signed it as uh, uh, cloud and ai analytics this is cool demo and post so this is my username the time and what is the message same way this is awesome so these are the two messages now we will see how to export this message to cloud storage so to come um, to stop the instance plus control c and you will be out of the instance now we will see how to install the redis cli instance to install that redis cli in ssh terminal you have to copy this command sudo app get install redis tool and execute it and now you can see uh, this will take some time to install and then once this is done you can use redis cli hyphen h and that instance name redis cli instance memory name so copy this then zero zero and hit enter now you are into so you can use some message like info you will get what are the default info and info other name is key space so you will get some details. these are the basic things so you can again you can go through the documentation i have given in the links uh, resource session you can take a look at it and uh, you can play with it to understand this in depth now we wanted to export this to cloud storage bucket so here click on the export option and browse choose the bucket name and i'm selecting this and export it that's it it will take some time to export like four five seven eight seconds and to cross check click on this uh, cloud storage storage and cloud storage so it will is taking some time to load so this demo bucket you can see that memory it should be there memory redis id export so this is in the form of r dot rdb so you can copy this url um, and you can take a look at this so i'll open this show in folder and edit with notepad plus plus now you can see this is awesome this is cool and um, Losting's cloud AI analytics password so everything is done so that's it for this demo uh, i hope you learn something new out of this video i know i hope uh, that you know how to implement cloud memory store practically what is the impact that cloud memory store is bringing into those um, it is clear i hope uh, if you have any doubts or any questions please post in the comment section i'll take a look at it and reply as soon as possible please do like comment share and subscribe to cloud and ai analytics and don't forget to click on the bell icon and i'll meet you in the next uh, video with new interesting material hopefully on cloud data store and fire store until then it's bye from Vignesh. happy learning